Hi, I'm Betsy Hedberg with some reflections on what it's like to live as an American outside of the United States. If you like the messages in these videos, please check out my book too. There's this question that I think comes up for a lot of people, sometimes really overtly and consciously and sometimes not so much, but it's a question of how much do you try to blend in or adapt or fit into your surroundings in your new country versus doing your own thing and not caring about anything like that. And I think it really has to do with individual preferences and styles and personalities and whether you're a more of a, a conformist or a, you know wanting to remain under the radar, so to speak, or whether you like to go out and show the world your thing and be very individualistic. And so it depends on the person. But there is an element of getting to a new place and realizing that you don't necessarily fit in or you might blend in if you did this or that a little differently. And for a lot of people then it's making a conscious decision of whether or not they're gonna try things to fit in. For some people I think again, it's not that conscious, it just happens naturally one way or the other. But here's how it has been for me. When I first get, got to the Netherlands, I was kind of like, well, I just want to try to see what it's like here and see how I can adapt to this culture because I plan to stay here for a long time. And I knew I was never going to become Dutch, but I thought, well, maybe I can, I can um, you know, take on some of the ways and customs that the, and ways in which they do things here. And I realized that I look pretty Dutch. So that was another way in which I could go under the radar and, and kind of blend in until I open my mouth. But the thing is, the more I stay here, the less I want to completely fit in. And here's one little example. It might sound kind of silly or petty, but this is obviously my Christmas tree. It is now December 2nd. I've had this up for two and a half weeks. So mid-November, I said, oh, screw it. I'm putting out my Christmas tree tonight. And that's exactly what I did, ornaments and all. In the Netherlands, they have this expression that I've learned. It's do normal. It's like, just do things normally. Blend in, fit in, be normal. And one uh, neat normal or not normal thing is to put your tree up before the 6th of December. I don't see any other trees around the neighborhood. And when I do see trees up in the neighborhood in a few days, none of them will look like this because this one's got... Oh my God, it's got colored lights. Nobody here has colored lights on their Christmas trees or on the, the lights that they put up around their windows. It's just not done, neat, normal. So I decided, of course, I've had Christmas, or I've had colored Christmas lights my whole life. So that was no problem. I'm doing color. And I think we all could use some color now, extra color and lights anyway, don't you? But I just said, also forget about this December 6th thing. I'm putting it up now. This is such a small example, I know. I mean, whatever. I don't care if my neighbors think I'm weird. They already know I'm a foreigner, so whatever. But it goes to this bigger question of how much you, if you live abroad or if you decide to move abroad, how much you try to blend in and do things just the way they do things in the country where you're living. How much do you bring your own American traditions with you? How much do you maybe blend traditions from various countries where you may have lived? And I think it's a really interesting question. There are some ways in which if you don't try to fit in, it could be harmful. Like if you're looking for a job and you go to an interview and say something that's not very appropriate in that context, but maybe perfectly fine in your own American context. That's, that's one example where I've heard people getting into trouble um, with not trying hard enough to fit into the local culture. But there are other examples and there are pros and cons to, um, to trying to blend in. So anyway, have a wonderful Christmas or holiday season, whatever you celebrate. And I'll probably see you before, uh, before the holiday anyway. Bye.